Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another case of 2023 Topps Tribute Baseball Picker Team 3. Brand new release, just dropped today. Very big thanks to this group right here for making this happen. On Wednesday the 12th, hump day. Got Tad with Last Spot and Mojo star next to his name 70% of the time and Last Spot and Mojo hits 100% of the time. The remaining teams that were kind of sitting there a little bit, we pulled into a RNB, a random number block, randomizer, which we did in a separate video. We uploaded that separately, but here are the results. It basically turned the remaining teams into a serial number break. Now remember, there are gonna be non-numbered base cards, including rookie cards, for this group of teams right here, potentially. We're gonna randomize them all as one lot to one person in the break. We'll do that randomizer at the end. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and there's the case of tribute. This case volunteering as tribute, just like in the Hunger Games. When's the last time everyone saw the Hunger Games? What's up, Grizzlebees? That's right, ABC, always be closing. Take this out of our inventory system. We've got the sounds of the Gold Cup on in the background, Panama or Jamaica, Mexico, Panama beat us, beat the Americans in penalties, which was unfortunate because watching, uh, watching Mexico, United States is always a fun one. Jan's never seen the Hunger Games. It's been since 2012 for Grizzlebees. And it's been a minute or two for me. All right, good luck battle is saying, can I give you a shout out to Noah? This is his first break, his dad bought him the Braves in this break. All right, is that, oh, under under Tad, that is? I usually don't give shout outs. Oh no, I do, but only one a day. And I haven't given one out yet, so shout out to Noah, good luck with the Braves in this one. Not really a shout out -y kind of show. That's not really our deal. Oh, that's Ben's nephew too? A family affair? I like that. I, always, I like to say the family that breaks together stays together. I don't know if that's scientifically true, but we'd like to think that. Good luck, everybody. Braves always hit, right? There's got to be something for the Braves. You would think. Let's see what we got. All right, first let's start with these. Remember, some of these non-numbered cards are going to be randomized to one, one lot to that number block group over there. Devers, 85 out of 99, is for John G and the Red Sox. All right, where should I start? Should I start right here with Garrett Cole, which is 13 out of 50 for John Jackson and the Yankees. And your dual relic is Kettle Marte, 168 out of 199. These are slightly thicker than a 130 top loader. But a wee bit smaller than a 180, but should be fine. Two color dual relic, that's for, that's a number block team that goes to eight. So if you're not familiar with the random number block format, we go by that digit right there. So whatever that digit is out of whatever. So Arizona eight is gonna be for Rob. Gary Cole goes to John Jay once again. Here's Machado, and that is a Jim Palmer. 63 out of 199. And that will be for Joe P, Joe Pereira, different Joe P from the Joe P we normally see. We have like three Joe P's for uh, Baltimore. There you go. 
Thanks, Joe. Next up is a triple relic, Mike Trout. Angels, Rob with the Halos. 93 out of 99. How about a DL Hall, 125 out of 150. Blue parallel for the O's. Another one for Joe. Behind Correa is Riley Green. Now remember, I like these stamp of approval relics because they have the MLB hologram sticker in there. And then that way you can look up that number, see what date this jersey was pulled. And then um, you can look up his box score, see if he did anything that day. That's KV030502. I think you can just go to MLB.com slash authentication. Jesse with the Tigers. Sometimes those numbers can tell a fun story. Sometimes it's just whatever. Ooh, don't look, Rex. But there's 10 out of 10, the Ryan Express. The inspiration for the Big Hit Express. That is Rangers edition going to Tristan. Like that shadow box look. That high leg kick was always really cool. All right, that's the first box. Next box. I told you not to look, Rex. I gave you fair warning. All right, second box of six. Good luck. Bon chance. I had one with an MLB hologram sticker, but the card said the card said not used in any game. I would believe this. Ooh, what is this? I would believe the sticker, the hologram sticker over the card. Tyler, what's going on? I do watch the tennis. For Salvador Perez, 28 out of 50 for the Royals for Ed P. Not as closely as I usually do this year for some reason. That O'Neill Cruz is to 75. That'll be for the Pirates. That's Pirates 8. That'll be for Rob. Kind of was a, a tricksy parallel. Did I miss anything else? Any other number cards? No, I got everything else. All right, so we've got an extra hit here in this pile. There's Casey Mize, 181 out of 199. That'll go to the Tigers, Jesse. I played tennis through uh, through high school. I'll swing around the old paddle every once in a while. And behind Mookie is a dual relic, Alex Rodriguez. Piece of the jersey, piece of the lumber. John, John Jay with the Yankees. 134 out of 199. And, oh, that's the kind of a cooler card. I don't know what that was. It looked like a see-through card, an acetate card. I'll save it to the end. There's Joey Votto, Triple Relic for the Reds. Jeff. And behind Bo Bichette is 60 out of 75, Tyler Freeman for Cleveland. Rookie Auto. Cleveland, this is for you. Ed with Cleveland. Behind Miguel Cabrera is Jordan Alvarez. 
VT042954 is the number. There you go, Jeff. First of many, I hope. We've still got plenty of boxes to go. This is for you, Mark, and the Strohs. And we got more uh, more Astros. I guess Trey Mantini's an Astro now. 43 out of 150. <coughs> yeah, I missed that. Mark Russo and the Strohs. All right, and that behind Corbin Burns is, is another red leg. Nine out of 10, Barry Larkin. In a, in a sort of see-through acetate design, but on a thicker cardstock. A iconic perspectives autograph card. Hall of Famer Barry Larkin. There you go, Jeff. Nothing to worry about. We weren't worried. We got more boxes to go. Uh, ever? Oh, look at this! Wow. It's a one-framed, oversized tribute to 1954 buyback card. What's that? That sounds awesome. Move all that stuff out of the way. We'll save that till the end. How about that? Watch to the end, ladies and gentlemen. You won't believe what we pull. Duncan, unfortunately, I do not see your name in this break. Could be a mantle. I don't know. Whatever's on the checklist. <laughs> has there ever, has a player ever left a team and then been traded back to that team? Yeah. Yeah, Matt Kemp, right? That happened to Matt Kemp. Probably a number of other examples, but they're usually not, you know, that usually doesn't happen to like superstar players. That's Randy Johnson, 87 out of 99. Uh, Diamondback seven goes to, goes to Rob. Fifteen out of forty-five, Vlad Guerrero Jr. I see that happen with the relief pitchers a lot. You know, every every once in a while, you'd be like, "Hey, here's so and so coming in for the sixth inning, second stint with the team." Nice Vlad, number block team, Vlad Junior, Toronto five. And that's gonna be for Mark. We got Christopher Morel, fifty-six out of one ninety-nine. That will be for Ed P and the Cubs. There's Giancarlo Stanton, triple relic. Just asking how would I feel if Bellinger was traded back to LA. I would love for Bellinger to be back in LA. What's probably gonna happen is the Dodgers will give up some not so good prospect and then have the Cubs pay for half his contract So 199, Giancarlo Stanton. And that'll probably get the deal done. That's probably exactly what's going to happen, Jason. Cubs are Cubs are still paying for most of Jason Hayward's contract. 
Bellinger's not an $18 million player, but John Jackson with the John Carlos. But we got him back for under 10, which is what a lot of fans wanted this offseason. And I think we'll take it. There's Big Poppy and Manny Ramirez. Nice. 32 out of 50. John with the Red Sox. Behind Seeger is Alex Gordon, 4 out of 99. Royals. It'll be for Ed P. And there's J.D. Martinez, another Dodger reclamation project. No, Syndergaard didn't work out. They're not all going to work out, but a lot of times they do. J.D. Martinez comes to the Dodgers, becomes an all-star. That's uh, KV062254. Seventeen out of ninety-nine for John G and the Red Sox. Then the autograph, Juan Gon Gonzalez, seventy-nine out of one fifty. You named your dog after Alex Gordon, Chilo saying. Alex or Gordon, or is your dog's name Alex Gordon? Tristan with Texas. What's in there? What's going to be in there? The suspense. We'll do it at the end. It better be good. What if it's like some scrub? And then we like wait, save till the end. Should I just open it now? Or should I should I hope should I gamble on the fact that it's gonna be a big name? And it'll be like, oh my god! The biggest hit ever! And start throwing my hat and ripping my shirt off and be like, what? You know, and then start running around and acting like a fool. That's crazy, the sickest hit we've ever had. Whoa! Start, start banging my chest. You know, start pounding my bicep. Start flipping out. There's no scrubs in 1954. I'm sure there were. But remember, that's tribute to 1954 buyback card. Is it an actual 1954 card? A buyback card from 1954? I'm sure there's some scrubs in 1954. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I think it's I think it's this checklist in a 1954 design, but it does say buyback card. So maybe they bought back a 1954 card. But then it says oversized. Oh, maybe just the frame is oversized and the buybacks in the We're going to find out at the end of the break. All right, we've got Smoltzy, John Smoltz, 26 out of 50, Tad and Noah, bravos. There you go, guys. Behind Cedric Mullins is Miggy, Miguel Cabrera, two color relic. Does anything beat that 50 auto book? Uh, I mean, value-wise, some things do. But in terms of just the sheer spectacle, not too many beat that. 29 out of 199, Miguel Cabrera for Jesse and the Tigers. And we've got Nelson Velasquez, 162 out of 199. Chicago Cubs, Ed P. And there is John Josh uh, Winkowski, 1999 Prince. That's going to go to John G and Boston. And the Crone Zone, Jake Cronenworth. That is VT zero three zero six two six. In case you want to look that up. 
Wow, so cardboard collection, cardboard connection says it's one out of every 567 boxes with a framed, with a frame with an actual 1954 card. Woo! Hopefully it's not a 1954 scrub. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr., 138 out of 199. Montreal Expo stuff goes to the Nationals. Nationals are a number block team, and that goes to Washington 8. That's for Rob. Could be. That'd be awesome. Any of those guys would be awesome. All right. Behind Joey Votto, it is Pete Alonso, Triple Relic. But before Rex gets everyone's hopes up, remember, this could be, we, it could also very well, just as well be Gus Zernial. Ed Lopat, Mets, Alexander with Mets. Could very well be, I don't know, Del Crandall, Jim Greengrass. You know what I mean? Sure, it could be. Eddie Matthews of the Milwaukee Braves, or it could be, could just as well be Johnny Clipstein from the uh, Chicago Cubs. Who knows? Will it be Johnny Padres of the Brooklyn Dodgers, or will it be Don Lund for the Tigers? The product like tribute, do you think they could do that? Absolutely, they'll do that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it can't all be, you think they're buying back, you know, I don't know you think they're buying back like uh, Ted Williams cards at, you know, in bulk? I don't know, does the checklist have a list of names or does it just say, actually I should be, should be looking at that, right? Actually it doesn't say, in addition rare box hopper, oh wait, no, hold on, let me. Yeah, no, there's actually no, there's actually no uh, indication of what players are going to be involved there. 1999, Prince, Alexander with the Mets. Kettle Marte going to number eight. That will be for Rob. And there's Manny Machado, Fernando Tatis Jr. Dual Padres for Ben, Ben Thomas with the Friars. 75 out of 99. We'll get that Soto too. Lucas Giolito will go to the White Sox. Mark with the White Sox. Bob Gibson reveals a Pedro Martinez Mets edition going to Alexander. It's another weird batch of top loaders here. It's like the, the middle part is kind of cinched in.
This one's a lot better. Fourteen out of fifty, Alexander with the Mets. Behind Mike Piazza is Josh Smith, fifty-eight out of one at ninety-nine. Tristan with the Rangers. Then we have Clayton Kershaw. Nice. Three out of 50. Stamp of approval relic card. It's uh, KV063680. Tad in the Dodgers. Last spot mojo. And then we've got Tech, Jason Veritek, 70 out of 75. That's going to be the Red Sox, John G. Yeah, Chad, we pulled one of these. Now, obviously, if it's you know Milwaukee Braves, it's going to go to it's going to go to Atlanta. Um, if it's Philadelphia A's, it'll go to the Oakland A's. Obviously, I'm trying to think if there's any weird city situations. Brooklyn obviously goes to Los Angeles Dodgers. New York Giants obviously goes to New York, uh, San Francisco Giants. Did someone say 54 mantle? I don't think anyone said 54 mantle or did someone, did I say it maybe? Jan claiming that the oversized card is going to be a one of one. Well, not in nineteen fifty four, Jan. Mickey Mantle is not on the 1954 Topps Baseball Checklist. Well, eBay is wrong. Despite the strong 1954 Topps Baseball Checklist, there are several glaring omissions according to CardboardConnection.com. The battle of player-exclusive contracts isn't new to the hobby, and in 1954, Bowman was able to secure the baseball card rights of Mickey Mantle, Pee Wee Reese, and Roy Campanella, thereby preventing their in inclusion in 1954 Topps. But I like, uh, I like Jan's confidence, even when Jan is wrong. You're gonna make mistakes, make them loud. That's what my music teachers would always say. 73 out of 150, Jordan Groshans for Miami. That's a number block team that'll go to Miami three. Otherwise, if you're timid with your mistake when you're doing that, then, uh, then everyone knows you made a mistake. Ah, not about that, Chad. Not about, not about that. I mean, that's something you would do. Too cool for that. 86 out of 99, Ozzy Albies. Atlanta, Tad. There you go, Tad. Ozzy Albies. Noah as well. And dual relic, Wander Franco, Bobby Witt Jr. That is a randomizer. 188 out of 199. 
Chad would definitely do that. When, when you're as, as cool and calm and collected and confident as I am, Chad, I have no need for stuff like that. Unless it's like Rex, but that's just fun. That's just for fun. Or my cousins, family. Not usually my friends, though. Brian Bellow, 56, a couple of them. 56 out of 199. 56 out of 199, Brian Bello, Bale, going to the Red Sox. He took a no-hitter into like the sixth or seventh inning a couple weeks ago. John G. And we got Tyler Freeman. Another one, 43 out of 150. It'll be for the tribe that's gonna go to Ed with the Guardians. <laughs> we got Glaber Torres, Glaber Day, VT038335. If you're curious about looking that sort of stuff up. Twenty-four out of twenty-five. John Jackson of the Yankees. And then we got the triple relic Vlad Guerrero Jr. Nice. That's gonna to be Toronto. Toronto's a number block team, and that will go to stand by. Toronto seven. It'll be for you, Rob. All right. All right, it is indeed a one of one. And it is Don Lund for the Tigers. They should bring that old Tigers logo back. Was Is this oversized cars a subset or was, were they that big? I don't know, I don't know this part. <laughs> were there only certain cards that were oversized or were they all oversized? Tigers. Uh, we're picked up straight up by Jesse. All right, yeah, <laughs> not the not the biggest names out of this year. This is just the, this was the normal size. Okay, it's a facsimile autograph, but uh, but Jesse with the Tigers, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. I gotta admit, I, I not not sure who Don Lund is. What grade would I give it? Not very good at the grade thing, so uh, your eyes are probably better than mine on that. Don Lund uh, was a uh, played played with the Dodgers for a few seasons, St. Louis Browns for a season. Because I think World War II kind of got in the way of some of his playing career. Played a couple more seasons with the Tigers. Was a coach of the Tigers for a season or two. Lifetime 240 batting average, 15 home runs, 86 runs batted in. No longer with us anymore. Passed away in 2013 in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Part of the University of Michigan Athletic Hall of Honor. And I'm sure a, uh, a nice guy. All right, now let's do a, this randomizer right here. The SU only. Oh no, you know what? I have to do the non numbered card randomizer as well. So we'll do all that with one dice roll. All right, so let's flip back to the team list. Let's gather all the names in the number block list. This is for the non numbered cards for that number block group. And then uh, let's do the shortstop randomizer Wander Franco, Tampa Bay Rays, Bobby Witt Jr., Kansas City Royals. Let's roll it, randomize both lists. Come on, random.org. A full 12 times, six and a six, two, three. All right, there you go. Rob, you'll get the uh, non 
numbered cards for that group of teams involved in the random number block group. Right down there. All right, now 12 times for that dual relic card, which was 88, 180. Is this a both number block team? No, Ed has the Royals and the Rays is Greg. So two people who bought their team straight up. Thank you for doing that. Six and a six, 12 times team on top gets it. One, two, three. Eleven and twelfth and final time. After twelve, the Royals will get it. Apologies, Greg, but congrats to Ed and the Kansas City Royals. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.